Hello, Gearspace. Uh, I'm Graham from Sonic Current. We have this year modules I actually released late last year in the autumn and into the winter. They were delayed by the pandemic, of course. So uh, they are, however, all shipping now and uh, all currently available without further delays or production issues. Uh, three modules that are new. There's a group fader and distributor, which is a macro controller. Uh, there are four channels possible with inputs for CV or audio signals, or in the absence of any input, there is an internal five volt source so that it can be used as just a manual control for up to four destinations, or you could split out, say, an LFO to four destinations, setting different levels for each, but then having a single convenient master control for the entire group. Uh, can also, of course, be voltage controlled, and it has a fairly unique feature in which the voltage control has a pass-through, so that that will either send zero to five volts according to the knob, or it will pass through the CV that's incoming post attenuator. Channels two and four have invert switches. The overall group level can be linear or exponential in response, and there is an uh, expander available for this module which adds mutes to all four channels they can be triggered with an external voltage or manually which is latching in one direction or a spring-loaded action in the other for sort of a performative kill switch and this module also adds 5 volt offset capability to the first and third channels of the core module uh, the other new module is the MC3A crossfade array it is three crossfades in one body with uh, two of the crossfades are in parallel, four inputs, two inputs for crossfade. Those crossfades then are routed to the third crossfade. It allows for fairly complex morphing between audio signals, or since it is DC coupled, you could also feed it LFOs and build very complex modulators that are very fluid, very organic, but somewhat chaotic and still periodic. Uh, there are direct outputs for each of the crossfades in addition to the main output. Naturally, voltage control is possible for all three, and again, it has pass-through outputs just as we saw on the macro controller. Uh, the patch that's running right now is sort of a self-controlled drone. Uh, I have a voice coming out of a Generate 3 from Duranalog that's going into one of the crossfade arrays, which is being actually modulated at audio rate by another VCO. So that's generating a lot of the sidebands that are fading in and out with LFOs coming from Batumi, that one of which controls the depth of that modulation. One is going to a bandpass filter sweep and one to the pitch of the modulating VCO. One is controlling the central crossfade on the voice crossfader and then there's another going to the distortion module that I offer which we've shown previously um, in this case it's being used one stage is coming straight from the crossfader it then goes to the polyvox filter and then back to the second stage of distortion so much heavier distortion pre-filter and then a more gentle distortion post-filter and then that's going straight to the output. Uh, so together, all the modules allow fairly complex modulation to be set up quickly and then still given easy manual control points throughout. Everything is available now. Uh, all is shipping now. The pricing for the distortion, I did lower a little bit last year. So the US pricing on this is now 325 down from 375 and should be similar to that in euros after the conversion and VAT. The crossfader is 250 and the macro controller and expander are uh, 195 and 95 respectively. Thank you.